Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to talk about the most important exercise that humans can possibly do, the heavy club mill. The mill is how you load a throwing pattern. People have known about this for thousands of years. For some reason, in modern athletic training, you hear this said that you cannot load a throwing pattern, which is absolute nonsense. This is so important that it is carved into stone walls all throughout history in tons of different cultures. You will notice the God of strength in almost every culture has some type of stick, whether it's Thor with his hammer, whether it's Hercules with his club. There's always some lever that is weighted that is the symbol of strength. It should be the symbol of strength for you too. The mill is what we think of as an inside circle. Think of it as a normal throwing pattern for sport, throwing a baseball, throwing a football. Hand comes past the same side ear and your body rotates in order to create athletic power. We can talk about athletic training and rotation forever, but the mill is what everybody should be trying to get to no matter what your age, no matter what sport you play. It does not matter if you play a sport, you should still work on this exercise from now until the day you die. Throwing is the thing that separates humans from everything else on the planet. So you should be very good at it. If it is not a part of your program five days a week, you should make it a part of your program five days a week, forever. The mill is built on a bunch of basic exercises. The inside circle, the basic one for rotating across your body towards your center line, like throwing a baseball, like throwing a football. The outside circle, because if you train inside, you should train outside for symmetry and balance in the human structure. The shield cast, which is your basic, basic throwing pattern that you use to use tools like swing hammers, like use axes, and like using swords. That is why it's called a shield cast. You practice those for years and you get really good at them. Then you combine them together. The inside circle goes with the shield cast. Shield cast goes past your opposite ear. That is called a mill prep. When you take the shield cast and you move it to the near side ear to your hand, it becomes a 180 pullover combined with an inside circle. It is a mill. That is a lot of technical terms, but think about heavy club swinging like Olympic lifting. The point is to lift something heavy in Olympic lifting and you practice a bunch of drills to make sure you can accomplish each position properly. The mill is no different than Olympic lifting, it's just Olympic lifting for throwing patterns. There are multiple versions of the mill. The one we are talking about is the most important one, the one without foot movement. Our feet are not going to pivot during this at all. They are going to be pointed straight ahead. So we get our rotation from our ankles, knees, hips, spine, shoulder, elbow, wrist. We are not getting it by lifting our feet up with this exercise. The inside circle is our start. The elbow position is key in every heavy club exercise. If your elbow position is not correct, you cannot go up and wait. You will not get the benefit of loading the throwing pattern better. Elbow touches body. The arm is at a 90 degree angle. We move our hand toward our center line by rotating our body. Starting from the ankle, go to the knee, go to the hip, rotate your hips. Hips straight ahead, hips 45. Then rotate the spine 45 degrees. Push, swing, pull, catch. Then we combine that with a 180 rotating pullover. There's a lot of words here. 180 means my body's gonna rotate 180. Pullover means I'm gonna put it behind my head, rotate my body, and pull over. The elbow position is key. If you start and stop in the wrong position, you won't be able to do this exercise. Inside circle, stop. Elbow on body. Club goes past the same side of your head, just like when throwing a baseball. Behind the head, rotate 180 degrees, pull over. Elbow comes to the stop position. Inside, stop. 180, stop. Inside, stop. 180, stop. Inside, stop. 180, stop. 
You should do an equal number and you should be equally good with both sides of your body. Most people can throw one-sided with their dominant hand. Most people cannot throw at all with their non-dominant hand. The club will teach you how to throw with your non-dominant hand. Same thing. Feet point straight ahead, the feet do not move. Rotate, push, swing, pull, catch. Decelerate the weight, don't hit yourself in the face. Same side of the head. Behind the head, rotate, pull over. Elbows in the correct position. Push, swing, pull, catch. Behind the head, rotate, pull over. Push, swing, pull, catch. Behind the head, rotate, pull over. When you are focusing on your stops, it's called a technical mill. You are in control in every position. As you get better and as you practice more, you will gloss over this position, but it will always be there. If it is not there, it is not a heavy club mill. Just like with Olympic lifting, you're going to be getting a lot of this power from your hips to drive the rotation. As the club comes up, you are pulling, snapping your hips, and then snapping your hips to turn your body over. This is a hip exercise. In the beginning, people think that this is an arm exercise. It is a shoulder exercise as long as the weight is not heavy. As the club gets heavier and heavier, this becomes about leg drive building the movement from your legs. One leg drives forward. As you change to the other side, the other leg is going to drive forward to change your hip position. This exercise teaches you about throwing everything, throwing baseballs, throwing punches, throwing sticks. You need to start with a light weight. Most gentlemen will probably start in the range of a 15 pound club and they will work on the inside circle and the shield cast, and then the 180 pullover for several years in order to build up not only their position, but the strength of their tendons and the ligaments. Because we are working with a lever, this is not just about muscles. Your tendons and your ligaments have to adapt. The important part is the position, elbow, same side of the head, rotate all the way, elbow comes down. As you cast the weight out, your elbow needs to lock out as you swing across the bottom. If your elbow is bent when you swing across the bottom, the weight is probably too heavy or the lever is too long. Your club should allow you to swing with a perfectly straight arm without crushing your toes. If you have a longer club, choke up until you can get to that perfectly straight elbow. If you do 10 minutes of these with a bent elbow, eventually you will give yourself tennis elbow and you will put yourself out of commission. Mills are a high rep activity. They are about endurance weightlifting. We're not just doing sets of three. We're doing say 20 sets of five on each side without putting the weight down. You are learning to endure. The upper limit I've seen for people to do this with one hand is about 50 pounds. It should take you about five years to get from the 15 pound mark to the 50 pound mark. The mill is incredibly important. Every culture in human history has found some version of this exercise because tool use is what defines us as humans. Throwing things, whether it's punches, tomahawks, hunting sticks, is what separates us from everything else on the planet. Your hand works the way it does for a reason because it is designed to hold on to levers and everything about your body is designed to do mills. This mill is about throwing inside. We call this one the one for sport. In future videos, we will make ones about throwing outside which is the reverse mill, the one for violence.